Hi everybody. Um, here we are the the first weekend that we're back from our trip to the Keys and uh, we're still unpacking. <laughs> And the reason for that, because there's so much um, maintenance to do after you get back from a trip. You know, you park your RV, um, you unload all the necessary things, and you start cleaning out your, your tanks. And um, I finished cleaning out the tanks yesterday. Um, the black tanks, for me, is always the biggest thing because I... I have to not see one speck come out of those tanks before I say, okay, I'm done. <laughs> so it takes me a while. And you know what? There's two black tanks. So I, I'm always, you know, trying to be the perfectionist. So I'm showing you the inside of the RV because uh, we're going to close it off and button it up tonight. Um... I want to take some measurements of the electric bikes that I have outside on the uh, carrying tray that we hook up to the hitch. So um, let me let me go out there right now. So I'm just going to swing around the camera so you can see that I'm still, you know, in the process of getting everything out. So let me go outside. Let me turn off my lights in here. Oh, bedroom light's still on. Well, I'll get it. But um, in in our um, home, all of you know that we have a place on the side of the house where we uh, park the RV. As you can see, we still have the hose hooked up. Um, we have a dedicated uh, 50 amp connection right here. And we have the RV hooked up to that. Let me just show you what we got. It's a 50 amp. And uh, Louie and I, we, we ran the line and it goes into the attic of the house all the way to the other side because we have a, a separate panel on the other side of the house. So let me just swing around. And um, this is the tray that I'm talking about where we have uh, our electric bikes it's still on there. I got this tray in Amazon. It's very beefy, very secure. Um, we got this Rolla cover also. And as you can see, it covers up the bikes nicely. And uh, we have them strapped on there. Now we do have a lock uh, with straps that uh, we can hook it up to. And uh, we use it on occasion when we want a little bit extra security. Now here you see the tray hooks up to the hitch and we have this U-bolt uh, with a plate on the bottom and that gives us uh, more, um, less mobility with the hitch because if you didn't have this, this would bounce around a lot more. So, well, it'll bounce around. With this, it does not. It does not bounce around. So just keep that in mind. So, I'll go ahead and put the link to the tray down below in the description so you could see. Um, I'll also put the plate on there so you can, uh, you know, get, get that to secure the tray. And I'll also put the cover on there so you can uh, get the link to that. Again, these are electric bikes and they fit just great on the tray and the cover covers them up nicely. Um, I'll go ahead and remove the cover so you can see how we packed the bikes. I'll take some measurements because a lot of you want to know the measurements to the bikes when they're folded. Now we did remove the seats. We did remove the seats and that's an option that you could do. And the reason we did that, so the bikes can close a little bit tighter and it'll give it less height on the top for the Rolla cover to be able to cover the, the bikes entirely and we could zip it up. Okay, so let me, let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Okay, everybody, um, here's Louie. 
and he is unfastening the straps to the roller cover so you can see how we position the bikes in the roller cover so we uh, we always strap it down very very tightly so there is no movement and it's less friction of the bikes inside now yeah Louie is wearing a jacket and why is he wearing a jacket <laughs> Well, we live in South Florida and South Florida is normally very, very pleasant in the winter time, in the fall, but we're having a cold front come in, which is very rare, to be honest with you. And it's 65 degrees right now. And you're probably thinking up north, oh, that's a heat wave for us. Well, <laughs> yes. But for us, it's cool. You know, we, we've got that thin blood going because of the, the hot weather down here. Okay. So we've got uh, six, six ways uh, that the strap is holding down the bikes. Three in the front and three in the rear. And he is unfastening them all. Now we also put some padding on the bottom, this right here, and you can buy these anywhere. And that gives it extra padding in case, you know, we hit a bump and the, and the bikes go bump down. Let me go on the other side so you can see him unstrapping these. There you go, see? He's taking the strap off. Like I said, I like this carrier. It's beefier than a lot of them I've seen. It has really good ratings. And, um, of course, the sticker up here said the name of it. I can't remember the name, but I, I'll put a description on the bottom of this video so you can see and it does come with velcro so the flap can go down and the zippers are on the outside let me go ahead and help mr louie here okay yeah there was water on the top and that's okay because that, um, there we go. Okay. So let me just uh, go over the, all the padding that we put on there. Now this foam, if you remember the unpacking video, of these electric bikes it came with a lot of foam so we kept the foam for this reason and you see right here perfect it didn't uh, harm the bike right here we used a, a lot of uh, bungee cord tie downs to keep the bikes limiting the movement right here to protect this um, handle um, right over here in between the bikes to protect that and we have it even down here See that? So all the points, look at here, all the points where you think that you're going to need it once you put the bikes on the carrier, you just put these on. You see that? Right there, right here, right up there. So we're going to take some measurements now while the bikes are in here. We're going to do the height from the, from the tallest point of the bike. And that would be right here. So we're going to go from the bottom. Yeah, it's pretty flat. I'll hold it down. I'll hold it down. I'm going to do it that way. Okay. And I'll show it. Okay, so the tallest point is 28. We're going to say 28 and a quarter. Okay. Now we're going to go to the widest, which is probably going to be the, the tires 
from from there the handlebar to here so let's just do let's just eyeball it from here to over here ready okay feeding it through okay so the widest point and I'm going I'm looking at everything so the widest point of the bike would be about oh, I'd say 23 because I'm looking at the brake handle now let's do 24 24 okay so that's the widest so let's do the length folded well actually the length of one bike honey so we're measuring both or just one just one bike honey just then one the bike width is wrong. the width is right honey that's wrong okay so let me hit the screen so right there where the pedal is is about 38 38 from the front of the tire to that okay let me go around let me check yeah that's about right okay so you got the measurements the height the width and the length okay Okay, I'm back everybody. So um, the other day what we did was we took the measurements of the bike on the back carrier and now we're going to take the measurements if they're going to fit in the basement of the RV. Now here you see that I have a tool chest and one of the reasons why I can't stick my bikes in here but uh, we're going to take measurements to see if it fits so we got a height let me put that up here this is our measurements of the bike when it's folded so we have a height of 28.25 so it's 28 and a quarter so we're going to go ahead and measure from the floor up because and i'll tell you why okay so there we have it it actually can go further up so it's about 29 inches from the bottom of the floor to the top now if you measure it from here to the top it measures 27 so what's needs to happen is when you stick it in you're probably let's pretend this is a bike right okay so it's probably what's going to happen is you're going to have to go like this and up now the length of the bike folded is 38 inches so we're going to measure all the way this way and it's about 40 and a half see if you can see that about 40 and a half okay but you have this right here let me show you that see that so it's uh, 37 and a quarter if you're measuring from this latch mechanism to the end so to get it in you're probably gonna have to go like this go in this way okay so the width you're not gonna have a problem with the width because folded width is 24 inches and I'm gonna go inside and you're gonna see that you have about 24 inches right there 
So it'll fit, you're gonna to have to do some finagling, but it will fit, okay? So you're going to stick it in like this. Instead of it like this, you're gonna stick it in like this, this way, okay? Or you could do what I did. You can just get yourself a tray and load it up on the tray on the hitch, you know, and then you're done. Um, a, there are some who actually got a bike carrier and they didn't fold it and they just put it on the bike carrier and that is another option, okay? So uh, again, folded the uh, bike's measurements, the height is 28 and a quarter, the width is 24 and the length is 38 inches. Okay, signing off for now. Bye, everybody.